don't know an awful lot of waste. There's, there is no quality control, and I don't know how an old factory like this even stays in business. That's the bottom line. You get a safety meeting, nobody seems to care. And when you're running 150-year-old equipment, uh, safety should be at the top of the list. And to run an old factory like this and not keep up on safety is just asking for disaster. where they shouldn't be cut. It used to be, you'd be proud of the work, the quality. There isn't any quality anymore. They want quantity, they don't want quality. Uh, the morale of the health here is going right downhill. They used to have some people here that really cared. Nobody seems to care anymore. It's just, well, it ain't our problem. Ship it off to the next department. Uh, and nobody seems, it doesn't seem to bother anybody from the top right to the bottom. It's pretty discouraging, especially, you know, Everybody in here has got mortgages and got families, and they, you know, they don't know where the place is going to be a year from now. Your contract negotiations start next week. I don't know. Have the cost, see the cost of insurances, whether it's uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield or Workman's Comp. And you're back to the safety end of it. They cry about the cost, and nobody seems to, nobody seems to do anything about it. What do you think the future of a place like this is? You got me. I really don't know. Do you think you'll be around? Uh, if I was a betting man, I could... 50-50, how's that? Uh, I can't see it going on the way it is. Some changes are made, possibly. The machinery's are all breaking down. The new machinery they get isn't being upkept or run the way it should be run. You can walk around here and see this stuff. The ship Fred Flintstone used to run a lot of the ships that are running in here. Uh, I don't know. It's a shame if it does go down the tube. Put it that way. Well, when you see what's going on in Massachusetts and the circumstances here, I don't know how it can go. Here and take a look at the windows and just the building itself. I'd hate to pay for the heat in this place. Yeah. As you can see, there's, you know, there's broken windows and plastic that they don't bother putting down. Look at the height of the ceilings in here. Right someplace you look right out through the walls. I don't know how they heat the place. Yeah. <laughs>
years ago, they eliminate about, I said, 35 jobs.
conditions like working here in a foundry? Well, it depends on what particular area of the foundry you work. My area, I said it's quite fine, but when you're talking about shakeout area, ring area, and feudal spot in the factory, then you're talking about hard and tough yard. What's that work like? Well, it's like hell anyhow. It's hot, hard, and dirty. Yeah. Do people get hurt ever doing that stuff? They do, yeah. They do. What happened? Oh, you got people with hurt, has hurt their back and arm, and some people lose their finger. And... Know anybody that that's ever happened to? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Not a guy that used to work at a yard there, young kid there, and lost three fingers on his left, left leg. Because he get caught on a conveyor. Is that right? Yep. Everything. What about the heat? Yeah, that's the worst part. Why is it bad? Why is it bad? Yeah. When you get burned. You get burned? Oh yeah. Anything. Got one right here. <laughs> On your arm? Let me see it. Wow. What are you making now? What am I making now? Yeah. $9.89. Yeah. With benefits? No benefits. None here? Nothing. Not at all? Nothing at all. Vacation? Just vacation pays, that's it. Sick? Nope. They don't have sick pay here? Nope. Uh, it would be nice if they could get sick pay or kind of birthdays and stuff like that. There's no, they don't have no benefits. Yeah. What about retirement? Retirement? Got to wait a long time. Yeah. Got to work over... Got to... Gotta gotta be over 65 years old, yeah. and uh, they don't pay much. Well, why do you work here? Why do I work here? There's no better place to go. I've been trying. Did you tried other places? Yes, I have. Yeah. Yep. What do they pay here? Is it all right? Well, it could be better. Yeah. <laughs> it's never into it, but I, it's not average anyhow. Yeah. What's the lowest pay? Lowest pay, you might say it's about nine dollars and 12, 12 cents an hour, somewhere around here. You've been here twenty-three years. Twenty-three years, right? So what are you making now? I'm making ten dollars and forty-four cents. That seem like enough to you? Hell no, no. Twenty-three years of work? Hell no, it's not enough. No. Why, why have you stayed? Well, I don't know. I can. I kind of started right here and I said I'm going to work there for a few months, but then get used to it and get used to the people and the hell. <laughs> That's probably part of the reason. Yeah. Plus, it used to be a secure job. Not anymore, though. Why is that? Well, the way things look around here is you never know what's going to happen the next day. As far as the uh, mill goes? Uh, as far as the industry in general, you know, it's slow houses, they build houses the way they used to do it, and, and really it's slow all over New England, like, you know. Yeah. Does that kind of scare you a little bit? I do, yeah, it does. It does scare me. I mean, yeah. especially when I got, the time that I got in here, you know, so, uh, when I started working around here, I was about 18. Right now, I'm, it's going on 43 now, and, you know, it's, Kind of tough to get a job now. Yeah. It's a little rough, but uh, we can handle it. Yeah. Now we have the new machinery, the, the manipulator. 
now it's more easy. Before it was to kill, but now it's, it's fine. Yeah. What do you get paid an hour? Uh, nice something. Almost ten dollars. Good enough? Well, the cost of living is high. And uh, no matter how much money you make. Yeah. Yes. You gotta have two jobs to survive in this in this country. Yeah. Where did you come from? El Salvador. Yeah. Why did you come here to this country? Well, because my country have war. They are fighting over there. Uh, that's why they come over here. Yeah. The other way, I stay over there. I got to I got to come because I have to, to work to eat. ¿Qué hacen? Eh eh, lo tienen por la tienda. Yeah. La televisión. You get along all right with the people here? Well, yes. It's a lot of friendly everybody. Yeah. You have family in the area? Yes, in New York. You came with them? No, I am the last one. The they last come one. first. They came first, yeah. Yeah. And another thing, we don't we don't have a uh, specified um, place to eat. Before we have it, but uh, they take away. But uh, most of the, most of us, we bring food from our house, and we have to eat it on the locker room. Lunch time. Yes, a few machines. Are you happy you came to this country? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Why? Well, I make a new life. Because over there, maybe uh, I'd be dead already. Yeah. I see a lot of people that dead on the street. Yeah. And that's why I had to run run away like a rat. Running from the fire. And here you are. Here I am. It's better here. Oh yes, it is. Yeah. What are your hopes for the future? Oh yep. Yeah. I have make a new family over here. I have a child, and uh, I establish a new life. Yeah. What's your name? Salvador. Thanks for talking with me. Nice to talk to you too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Process technician. In other words, I would uh, keep track of things, how they were running, collect data, and kind of analyze it. Yeah. Stuff like that. And what have you worked yourself up to? Uh, Found your manager now. Yeah. What did you What did you start at when you started? As far as what? Your pay. Eight fifty an hour. Eight fifty an hour. What's it now? Uh, more than that. <laughs> more than that, huh? Yeah. What does the manager get? Uh, Somewhere around $35 a year. Is that right? That's good money. Not bad. Are you paid salary or...? or uh, salary. It's a salary job, yeah. So if you had to figure it on an hourly basis, it'd be close to what? It's around uh, $17. Dollars. Oh, 17 That's not a bad job. No. How do you like working here? It has its moments. Yeah. It's a very interesting place to work. Yeah. Always something different happening. And, yeah. It, what interests me is that most of the workforce is, seems to be Hispanic, isn't that correct? Yeah, it's, it's a fairly good majority of it. Yeah. yeah. There, aren't, there aren't too many whites working here, are there really? Um, if I was to make a guess, I'd say maybe 15 to 20 percent white. Yeah. And the rest made up of Hispanics and uh, right. blacks, Jamaicans. Yeah. How does it work out for you being the manager, you, you being white and everything? We don't seem to have too much trouble. It's, uh, everybody seems to get along well, work together well. Yeah. It hasn't really been a problem for me. Or, you know, looking around, I don't see any problem with the other guys. 
You think these guys could ever be a manager here? <laughs> Excuse me? You think if these guys ever wanted to work their way up, they could become a manager? I think so. Yeah. It'd be tough, isn't it? Anybody can do whatever they want to do if they set their mind to it. Yeah. yeah. You've been here 26? 26 years. Yeah. Same job? Same job. How do you like it? I get tired. I get tired already. Yeah. Too many years in one job. Yeah. What do you want to do the rest of your time? Oh, I five years I want to go. 63. Then I go. And you're going to go retire? Yeah. Maybe I never make it. How old are you now? Uh, 56. Yeah. yeah. I want to be rich. Granny. Much more. I want to get that. You're going to get rich? Yeah. Then I want to quit. Then you're going to quit. Then I'm going to quit. All right. Oh.